Yo, 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 what is going on, good people? Thank you so much for tuning in and taking time to view life from the PEV point of view. Point of view, excuse me. Uh, today, we have a beautiful day here in Chicago. It is Sunday um, in April and it is 75 degrees. Finally, we're getting a taste of what this summer is going to bring and if you've never spent the summer in chicago the weather is absolutely perfect um, and i really have no agenda here today i am just cruising around and seeing what life will bring to me uh, i plan on taking you around a few of key a few of chicago's key um, you know attractions around this area if you can't tell i am just south of downtown engulfed in this beautiful skyline uh, we caught the light just perfect we normally have to wait a little while but we caught it just right um, i'm going to take you across to buckingham fountain so unfortunately buckingham fountain is uh closed for the season it does open up i want to say may through October or so and every single night at 9 p.m. There is a large uh, water show and there's a bunch of speakers and lights and you'll see vendors around here selling different things um, It's a really cool place during the summer. It's just one of those things um, That gets you outside and enjoying our beautiful city even at night where uh, in a city where a lot of people think it's dangerous at night. Me and my fellow EUC riders ride every single day of the year. Day, night, rain, snow, for the most part, I'm not riding the rain if it's wrapped up the rain. But anyway, the point is, this city is safe, even at night. Um, I've been in other major cities at night and felt way more unsafe there than I do here. Um, so it's actually raining. This is not good. This is throwing a wrench in my plans. Um, I didn't expect this rain. So we're gonna go back on the trail, go a little south, check out Northerly Island, um, and then continue this show of some of Chicago's attractions. But let's go downstairs. That's nothing. All right, back on the trail. I'll take a pause and continue in a moment. All right, so we have just arrived at two world-class uh, educational institutes in the Shed Aquarium and the Field Museum. So these two um, museums, one is an aquarium, the other one is a, a, a museum, you can get lost in there for hours. I mean, there's probably six floors of incredible artifacts at the Field Museum. I'm talking like you can go see perfectly preserved Egyptian mummies, um, artifacts from all periods of history. It's really beautiful. I mean, look at this view. It speaks for itself. See a lot of people enjoying their day, hanging out in the grass. But yeah, let's keep moving. So the Shed Aquarium is quite fun. They've got all sorts of dolphins and seals and penguins. And now oh, it's a blast. I love uh, looking at animals. We'll do a drive by of this beautiful museum. Uh, and then keep it moving on our way towards Northerly Island. Um, to check out the sites there and then probably take you by Chinatown to meet up with some friends So here it is Field Museum enormous in scale You can go in there and see a t-rex um, But anyway, I'm gonna keep it moving I'll tune back in closer to Na Northerly Island So we have made it to the Adler Planetarium. So I haven't actually been inside this one. 
but I have been at other planetariums um, and it's quite the scene if you're into astronomy uh, you can go see the night sky and once again like most things in Chicago you got a beautiful view of the lake I mean just wow talk about a perfect summer day let's go swing around the back show you this planetarium Incredibly serene sight here at the beach. And it's always funny. You hear so much about Chicago being a super unsafe city. There's a war going on. And well, you know, that might be true in some aspects. But then you have the flip side. It's a beautiful, peaceful day at the beach. You might recognize this parking lot. This is where we host our intro to speed. I can go ahead and run the track just for a memory. I don't even need the cones. Big sweeping left, come around the corner, into the straightaway, gun, gun, straight down. Around here you pull up, circle left. Come around here, corner going right. Apex there. There's two swerves over here. You go one left and one big right into the turn. And there's the intro to speed track. But that's not what we're here for. We're here to show you Northerly Island. Alright, so we're getting on to Northerly Island. And I will say this uh, Chicago is a very, very flat city. Um, and these are the only hills that we really have access to um, within the city. And, you know, it's to the point where you can literally Google like a list of hills in the city. Like there's that few. It's just super, super flat out here in the Midwest. Um, so I don't have much opportunity to test my pads, test my wheels, test my gear off road. Um, so that's when that's why you see me going to the jump park. You'll probably see me going there quite frequently because that really is the only taste of off-roading um, that I can get. So uh, I'll show you what's over here. It's nice to whip around, beautiful natural area, got a pond. I've actually seen a, um, a beaver in this lake. I was here at night, nobody around. I see something swimming. I shot my light and it's a big ass beaver living in this thing. So um, pretty cool. All right, so there's two main off-roading areas here. One over there behind me and one we're about to do. So I will try and show you my pads. Maybe I can demonstrate what I meant by saying the Grizzlies might be better if you want to lean further on your wheel or have more surface area to lean on. But the patent gets up this thing no problem. We're, we're gonna go down that again. I'm gonna go down and do it again. Even without my motorcycle boots, I'm not as locked in in my hiking boots. This is no problem. That was a breeze. So. Yeah, it's pretty sad that this singular hill is like as good as it gets for off-roading in Chicago. It's a little bit of a trail.
I don't know, this is a cool view, being low to the ground like that. But this is what I'm working with. All right, we did one of two hills, now let's do the other. This one is fun. Pretty easy. Got some people fishing over there off the point. And we are king of the mountain here in Chicago. Beautiful tall point. Let's go down it again. What's up? Well, this has been Northerly Island. Uh, we're gonna keep it moving. Got to meet up in Chinatown with my friends. We're gonna ride around the town. I'll show you a little bit of that. So let's keep going. All right, people, we made it to Chinatown. Meeting up with our EUC friends was a success. This is the main square. We're on our way out. We're gonna get some food and then continue the ride. 75 degrees, so you know we're gonna be out all day long. And here we have it. We got our buddies EX30, the Lynx, and the Master Pro. It was a V1 upgraded to V3. Have you guys ridden the Master Pro V3? This wheel supposedly can go 65 miles an hour. Would you trust that? And now they're saying that the ET Max is a 70 mile per hour wheel. You know, only time will tell. I'm not quite sure if I want to push a wheel 70 miles an hour. Um, and for the record, the fastest I've ever gone is only 57 on my EX30. And quite, you know, tell you the truth, when I looked down and saw how fast I was going, I almost shit the bed. I was so scared. But it was barely beeping, full battery. I had nothing to worry about. Um, but like I said, we're going to get some food here, guys, and continue the ride. Going 30. 30 mile per hour carbs on the patent. 35. I'm going. Woo! -hoo! The real survivors linked to the pen. Where's your Master Pro V3? Didn't kept getting keep up. Alrighty, so we regrouped with our friends and made plans. So the plan is to head south through the city and down to a place called Big Marsh. And it's gonna take some fun traffic riding to get there. We're joined by a company of friends. We got a Lynx, Master Pro, EX30, uh, Sherman Max, and myself on the patent. So I have the lowest range out of everyone here, so it's on me to try to conserve my battery. So you'll probably be seeing me uh, ride seated. Yeah, I can't keep up with the Master Pro V3. <laughs> so you'll see me ride seated to try and conserve battery, be as streamlined as possible. Um, and yeah, so I'll stay tuned. I'll check in when things get interesting. All right, so we picked up a Sherman S. Off to our right is my buddy named Chris. And we got a solid group of riders. So we continue south down MLK towards the Big Marsh Swamp. 
where they have a bike path, like a bike jump pack, a bike jump park, and uh, hopefully some EV charging. So, because if they don't have EV charging, your boy might be stranded. Because I have, uh, you know, a small battery on the patent, but I'm sure it'll be fine. It always is. And let's do some carving. So seated riding is really a pleasure with these uh, power knobs and this wheel, even without the motorcycle boots. It's super nice. The wheel is very controlled. I'm locked in in the perfect way. And man, I'm loving these pads. And I'm really happy to see that video is getting quite popular because really it is the one upgrade that has changed the game for me. Um, and I'm happy that people are going to catch on and see things the same way I do. So, I'll continue on to Big Marsh. guys I'm checking in once again so we're running at 35 miles per hour here on the patent I'm uh, doing some seated riding and it's really really comfortable I got nothing to worry about except my battery so we have our eyes set on an EV charging station uh, where I'll pull out my Roger charger and my Roger EV adapter um, to be able to hook up to that 220 volt outlet and charge and charge my patent at 15 amps. So uh, we're going up this hill right here. I am running low on battery. I'm at 104 volts. Could be worse. Could be better. Um, but we're almost to the charger. So I'll tune in and go over my charging setup in a moment. All right, guys, so we made it out here to the casino, made it all the way to the EV charging station. And I just wanted to show you all this piece of kit real quick. So, so real quick. So this is the Roger EG EV adapter, um, and it converts your charger from 220 volts. And it's got three outlets here, and it's been tested for 55 amps. And as you can see here today, we got three chargers running. Got my patent running at 14 amps. Got the EX30 charging, I think around 10 amps. And then we got Mr. Lynx over here also doing like 10, 14 amps, something like that. Who knows? Um, but yeah, great piece of kit. Getting us on the road in no time. We're headed to Big Marsh doing some jumps. All right, so we have wrapped up charging. I made it to 122 volts and we're back here on the road. Uh, this looks very much like a highway. I'm not sure what else you'd call it, um, but we're going strong. Big railroad coming across. Going 35 on the patent, 119 volts. There's much less, it's much less sag today um, with the warm weather. knobs for the win baby Woohoo! that was a nice turn going right going straight never mind Okay, a little bit stressful, but I think we made it uh, to the marsh.
Let's go this way. Bike path, jump path, let's go. My son is too young, too young for this. How old is he? Eight. Alright, we're here. Oh shit, oh my goodness. These are quite steep. Holy shit. Okay, I'm a, I gotta say guys, I'm a little bit intimidated. This is my first time ever at a bike park. And geez, this looks so, so easy on camera. <laughs> Holy shit. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. That's really sketchy. Yeah. It's so <laughs> steep. That's so really? steep. Um, I'm sorry. You guys can't be here on the unicycles. Oh, uh, no way. No. Um, I just, I'm, I'm sorry. It's just, 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 it's Él dice que él es para salir, pero él, no, yo, él tengo, no yo tengo un niño que tiene ocho años y yo quiero llevar a él aquí. Alguien me dio sobre de eso. Lo que, yeah, es, pero no pueden estar aquí porque esto no es para... Sí, no, They won't go again. Right? They won't go again. Yes, sir. Uh, well, so, you saw it just like that, man. We, um, <clears throat> we rode all the way out here and we get kicked out rather quickly. You hate to see it, but that's the nature of the beast. Um, some people aren't in tune with uh, the future of technology, so it's okay. Now that's impressive right there. Okay, I prefer to be a little bit more locked in for these big ass jumps, holy shit. Ugh. All right, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna include in the video, but we basically got kicked out of, Ma of Big Marsh. They have a BMX jump park and within, you know, one or two runs, they came and got us and said, hey, you can't be here. There's no electronics, no motors, nothing allowed at the jump park. So we're on the run, uh, cruising around the outskirts of the park. But it's still nice, you know, we're still enjoying our day despite getting kicked out. Um, they have some really nice paths. As you can see, I'm cruising along here doing probably uh, 28 seated. Having a blast. Highly recommend. guys so we are slowly but surely making our way towards that beautiful skyline you see off in the distance uh, we made our way back to the lakefront trail 
and the lakefront trail is great. It's 18 miles of beautiful bike, uh, beautiful bike trails um, and walking paths. And it's really super nice to just be able to hop on the trail and not have to think about your GPS and just say, hey, no, hey, I know I'm going 18 miles north or 18 miles south. So I love the lakefront trail. As you can see, a lot of people out enjoying the day today as you do on this beautiful sunny day. So I'm going to go ahead and do an early sign off here. My microphone is starting to get low battery. Um, and I'll continue to catch anything cool we see along the way headed back to the city. Um, but the general plan is to continue riding all day. We're going to go back to the EV supercharger, um, top off once again for the second time today, and keep it pushing. So I took you around to some of Chicago's cool places. I planned on doing a lot more at Big Marsh, but it didn't turn out to be. We got kicked out almost immediately, so I was not able to practice my jumps um, but that's okay you know there's always another day all right guys I know I said I was signing off but I couldn't let you guys go without capturing a little bit of this beautiful sunset that we're seeing today we made it back to Buckingham Fountain uh, where we began you see we got some EUC friends over here uh, we're gonna have ourselves a great night so I'm looking down at my odometer. Let's check right here. We have done 69.7 miles today. And I really appreciate you guys taking your time to stick it out with me. I know this has been a long episode today. Um, we've gone a lot of different places. And I hope you enjoyed the whole thing. If you stuck with me through the, end, through the whole video, um, leave me something to smile out down in the comments below. I really appreciate you taking time to tune in today and view life from the PEV point of view. Uh, thanks again, guys. I just want to sign off and say enjoy the rest of your day.